Hello. What am I doing today? I'm doing nothing. I know I did that yesterday, but I didn't finish. All right, I'm gonna attempt it again. You know that I never can, but for giggles, let's just see if I can actually do this and pull it off today. But I'm gonna try to do no editing. Comment down below if you laughed. <laughs> And you're like, nah. <laughs> but anyways, I really am going to try today. I just kind of want to relax and not overthink every single thing and, and all that stuff that I can like get caught up in my mind. So if there are any awkward pauses or it's just awkward, feel free to exit out when you need to. Um, we're going to do another Dollar Tree haul today. Absolutely love this store. If you missed uh, the last one, I'll link it down below because girl... My brain exploded from the cuteness of the Dollar Tree Summer 2021 collection. Today I actually am also excited because there's a couple of items that I picked out for my daughter's care package idea. So I've been kind of jumping around from different themes, but I think I finally landed on one and I'll show you guys what that looks like. But also I just want to quickly say thank you so much for loving my videos, watching my videos, and my Dollar Tree ones in specific. That's why I edit my Dollar Tree one specifically, just because honestly, it wouldn't be anything if I didn't have like the passion to, or if I didn't, that's why I edit, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna still try. Um, what am I trying to say? If it wouldn't be the same thing if you guys didn't share the same passion with me. Does that make sense? So I just love that as much as I love the store, I know you guys love it just as much and it makes the whole thing that much better and exciting for me. So anyways, that's why I had it. Okay. Oh my God. Don't edit. Don't edit. I'm gonna try not to edit. I'm honestly scared. Okay, so, <laughs> um, all right, I found some greens, and uh, they're really cute. I think I've actually um, hauled a couple of these before, but I think I found some new ones that I might not have already picked up, like this one right here, and these are really exciting because this is kind of new-ish in the last several months from Dollar Tree. Before that, they really haven't done greens quite on this level that I think is up to par with like Hobby Lobby and um, Michaels and stuff like that. The difference is going to be the quantity, you know, just the fullness, I guess you could say, of these. But um, yeah, so they're really good anyway, and sometimes you don't really need them to be full, just kind of depending on how you're going to use them. You guys know I love to just kind of tuck some into like really random areas. So you know you could just like, I don't know. I mean that's just, you know, an idea. But anyways, really love these, and my whole house is just made up of this stuff, so... I got those at Dollar Tree. And then I found some more of these baskets. These come in two to a pack, so a dollar each. And I recently showed you guys some. I should have brought the other ones down so that you could see the sizes together. But this is like the longer rectangle shaped ones. And you can see that it is in white. I think they make this in black as well. These are gonna be for my craft room. And I think tomorrow's video is going to be a get organized, clean prep with me of my craft room because I'm going to start uh, getting the furniture and getting that space going. So if that's something you want to see, it is a train wreck. I mean, it's bad. It's bad. So anyways, this is to organize the space, but once I have the furniture, if that makes sense, because that's my problem right now in the craft room is I don't have any furniture to put anything really on. All right, this is another exciting find. It comes through Dollar Tree every once in a while, but it is the Fiji water bottles. And I actually don't even know if I kind of got a deal. I know that Fiji, you know, it's like it's the most, one of the most expensive, if not the most expensive. So let me just kind of do a little price check and see. Um, yeah. Oh wow, one of the first ones I came up was Dollar Tree. But 
Yeah, I don't really know if like a dollar is a great deal or not. I kind of feel like it is. So I did get several bottles of this and Fiji's honestly one of the best tasting waters ever. Who remembers when I did the water test on my um, on my channel? And it was actually water that I picked up from Dollar Tree. That was really, really interesting. But anyways, I digress. Fiji, in my opinion, tastes the best. Um, so anyways, there's that. All right, I picked up this really random item. I've never seen any sort of Olive Garden product at Dollar Tree before. Let me pull out my... This is another thing that I do, um, or not that I do, that I've noticed, is when I go to editing, I never, like, check, you know, myself. And sometimes, like, my jewelry's kind of off and you guys can't really see it. And I don't know. It's, it's, I'm, a, I'm a whole mess today. But anyways, okay, there we go. So I've never seen any Olive Garden product. This is their signature Italian dressing and it comes in these little single serve cups. Pretty cool concept, especially if you like pack your lunch kind of thing. Um, and this was actually 50 cents. So it was marked on the clearance. But what? I've never seen any Olive Garden product there ever. Um, recently, I, I don't know where I showed you guys this, but in a Hobby Lobby haul, I got these little candle votives and I knew instantly that I wanted to find the candles to go in that from Dollar Tree. And I think in that Dollar Tree haul, I bought some candles from Dollar Tree, but it didn't fit in there. And I knew that I needed these specifically. So these I think will definitely fit in there. So I got a box of these and I wanted them to be white. So these are the fresh linen. So there's that. I'm not gonna try it on camera cause I'd have to get up and I'm really gonna, I'm really gonna try to do no editing today. Um, okay, what do I show you guys next? I found another book. It's pretty fun cause we're in the library today. Uh, City of Lies. Don't miss the exciting story intrigue of intrigue, deception, and love. I definitely don't think I have this one, but I've found so many jackpot book finds at Dollar Tree that I wouldn't be surprised if I've already picked this one up. I, re I really don't think I have. This one's definitely a new one and the cover is really pretty. So I'm gonna add it to my collection up here. Um, if you have not seen the library makeover, I will link this video down below in case you don't catch like my decorating videos. So there's that. I also found these poster sticker letters, but they have little like sprinkles. So it kind of looks like donuts. Super cute. Honestly, now I want donuts, but I really love the poster letters. These are great for like what I use them for are going to be care packages just because of the size. Um, they're great for planning too. It just kind of depends on how much of your planning pages weekly spread kind of thing that you want to take up space with something this big um i definitely love planning to be more creative than functional i guess you you can say but i do love these four care packages for the size alone um so those were new i'm just going to add them to my stash i'm not actually going to be using it for my daughter's upcoming care package However, I am going to be using this or hopefully I'm going to use it. I don't know if it's actually going to work. So I actually wanted yellow wrapping paper. Um, I've used wrapping paper before. I did a, a Valentine's Day theme for my daughter. I'll find that video. It's like buried in a Dollar Tree haul and I'll link it down below so you can see that theme. And I've done several others as well. I'll link those too just in case you want to see like what I'm talking about. But... I couldn't find yellow wrapping paper, so I decided that maybe the plastic table covers will work um, just to kind of line the inside of her uh, shipping box. And the reason why I got yellow, and I'll show you guys now, is I thought it would be cute to do a little butterfly theme. How cute is that, right? I think originally I was gonna do like a finals theme, like in terms of decorating the box, not the items, but like decorating the box that I was gonna have something about good luck on your finals. And then I changed my mind and I thought doing something like horoscopy cause she's a Sagittarius. And then I changed my mind on that. And then I was gonna do a sunshine theme, 
Um, so I picked this up thinking I was going to do that theme, but then I saw these butterflies and I thought, nope, this is it. My daughter loves butterflies. It's like her signature thing, if that makes sense. Like she wears a butterfly necklace. Uh, she has like butterfly earrings and she has loved butterflies for years. So, um, I've never done a theme like that. So I got a ton of these just cause they're going to be, you know, on the the flaps and, and stuff. Also, comment down below and let me know what what could I say on the care package that would be cute and butterfly-y, if that makes sense. So, like for example, um, I did one where I did a star theme and then I said love you to the moon and back or I love you more than all the stars in the sky or something like that. What could I say with for example, sticker letters, you know what I mean, inside the box? I really don't know. So give me some ideas if you have any that would be, you know, with, that would go with that theme, basically. Okay, I found some really adorable notebooks. These are one of my favorite items to hunt at Dollar Tree. They're absolutely fantastic. And any time they do these that kind of have that travel look to them right they, these are like travel journals um and i love finding these and then look at this they've got two separate notepads in here so amazing i uh, the size is great it's gonna fit in your purse look how cute this one is kind of gives me 70s vibes i don't know why i think that but i do then we have this pattern and again same thing and you could just do all kinds of things, you know, like if you just want to write down just like random things or grocery lists or you plan out your finances or plan out vacations and kinds of things like that. Or even if you love getting ahead and planning out like Christmas and stuff, which I do, I would use journals like this, but also you could use it as like a diary journal, you know, you could decorate it with really pretty stickers and, and stuff like that. So some ideas there for you. I'm going to cough. <coughs> Sorry. I feel like I should do editing, but I'm going to try not to. All right. Then we have some clipboards. Aren't these so pretty? Wasn't there another one? Am I missing one? Maybe not, but I did take a picture because there were other ones to choose from. But look how cute this one is. Love it. But this one is my favorite because it has bees on it. What? How stinking cute. This has to be one of the best clipboard designs I've seen from Dollar Tree probably ever. And they've done some really cute ones, let me tell you, okay? So the bumblebee is absolutely fantastic. And then I know I took some photos of, of two other patterns and they weren't like my favorite. So I'll just throw them up here so you can see the options. I also found some stickers. These are really interesting because you can color them yourself. So you can get, you know, really, um, you can get really creative and have them match like whatever it is that you're doing. So super cool that you can color them and I love how small the stickers are because then if you have like adult coloring pencils and markers they're gonna be great for these small little like lines that you have to like fill in so super cute love those then I found this new sticker which has mermaids I don't think I've picked this one up but I might have hauled it before Super cute, love the mermaids. And Jot, this isn't Jot, it used to be Jot. Crafter Square, they do these stickers now with the black backdrop to make it look like a chalkboard. So that's what this is. I'm loving that theme, by the way, and I love that they keep like using it again, but with obviously like different designs. So I'm totally on board with that. Comment and let me know, like, do you, do you love the chalkboard? style stickers from Dollar Tree because I love them. You guys also know that I like the sweet stickers are my favorite and I feel like this is a new one. 
Look how cute. I can't tell you guys how many times I have hauled some of the same stickers over and over from Dollar Tree because they're just that good. Stickers like these at Michael's would range from like five to six dollars at Michael's. Hobby Lobby is a little bit better in my opinion in terms of sticker prices because they do the sales, but um, a dollar wouldn't be found in my opinion in either store if they were looked like this and were this size. So anyways, I love those. I also found another B item. It is this list pad. And what I just noticed is that this is crown jewels. So just so you guys can see the label. Because instantly I looked at this, I was like, that's not a label within Dollar Tree, but it is because it's crown jewels. And I know crown jewels always makes matching stationery for things. And I'm like, now I'm like, what else is in this B collection that I didn't see? So if you know, comment down below, but I've got to find the rest of this collection because I'm really loving the, the bumblebee thing. All right. In a recent haul, I mentioned that I was going to pick up some graduation cards, even though I don't really need them this year, but I wanted you guys to kind of see them. And I picked two of the whole bunch, which there's at least, my gosh, there's at least 10, 12 maybe even 15 to choose from, maybe even more than that, honestly. Um, but I picked two that I thought were the best in my opinion, and this is one of them. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this card. I wish this was available in 2019, the year my daughter graduated from high school, because I would have picked this one up for sure. It says, chart your own course, super cute. Best of luck on your new adventure, grad. But just the colors, honestly, is what's so chic to me. Everything about it, I think, is just spot on. And then this one, which is Let the Adventure Begin, grad. I just love a good, beautiful, scenic landscape type deal. And then they did the matching blue. I love all the details of Dollar Tree and the envelope is blue. Oh, I guess that is what we're seeing. I thought it was the trim on the inside of the card, but it's not. This is the envelope. So super beautiful. Um, comment down below, let me know. Should I pick up some more and show you guys some more? Um, all right, next up, is this? I think these are some of the last few things. I found another cute little journal. This is the frog. Yeah, I meant to grab the other ones um, because I hauled two before and I didn't realize that there was a third one, but this little frog is super cute. It's just a cute little journal. I love when they individually wrap them like this. I don't know why, but I do. And these are gonna be cute for a little care package too. Or for um, teachers, you know, if they have like a cute little frog theme in their classroom, this is adorable. And the last couple of things are pencil pouches. They're just, so cute we've got a baseball one basketball one which is my favorite we've got football and then soccer so it's interesting because they did two greens but anyways they've already got the holes in here for you so you can add them to your binder but these are really adorable probably been around for a while but i'm just now seeing them and then these are little pencil pouches as well just in a different shape these are going to be cute pickup if you love planning just really adorable the inside isn't like the greatest thing on the planet but you know serves its purpose we've got a little bear in the blue and then we've got a cute little pig in the pink so these are the three in the collection and then this last one just stands on its own. I got it because I grew up playing Nintendo, playing Sega, uh, Atari, Super Nintendo. Um, what are some of the other consoles? I don't know. I mean, I still have my PlayStation 2. I do. I still have that. Anyways, um, so here it is. It has a cute little Game Boy. Oh yeah, Game Boy. It says you win with a cute little line, so adorable. Anyways, so 
All right, that's it. That's the haul. I'm sorry for the awkwardness at the beginning, but hopefully I'm gonna have enough guts to simply throw this into my software and let it run beginning to end this this way for you guys. If you liked it, comment down below. But if you need me to edit, comment that too. But that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.